and welcome to my next video on how to make money with 3D printing. Well, we've already talked about cosplay as a source of money and income. We haven't really talked about Hollywood, which is closely associated with cosplay. See, in Hollywood, there are a lot of movies that make props out of, uh, through 3D printing. And I'm going to talk about some examples and some different reasons why they would use 3D printing versus making the actual prop out of, I don't know, metal, wood, or anything else. So let's take one example that recently won an Academy Award. <clears throat> the Black Panther, um, as you can see in this picture, her collar and her hat are both uh, 3D printed. And what's interesting is that this movie won, I believe, three Academy Awards, but one of them was for costuming. So what they did actually won an Academy Award, and they had 3D printed um, involved with it. However, let's be clear. This right here, this collar part, was done with lasers and 3D printing, which is a special type of 3D printing, but still 3D printing. I believe this was done um regularly but they did it because they needed something that was lightweight and yet strong because she had to move in it and so it was also faster to do it um with the machine versus making this by hand so they saved time money and it lasted a long time exactly what they needed for this particular movie here's another one Coraline now, Coraline is a stop motion uh, movie. Usually with stop motion, you use, either use a puppet or you use clay. And you have all these faces that are molded and replaced. And the creators of this uh, movie decided it would be faster and better to just 3D print the faces because they would be more consistent and way faster to just make these things on a printer and just replace the face every time they needed to uh, adjust the expression or talking. So it was a lot easier and faster and it came out great. They, they, uh, that movie had a lot of success. Now this one, I'm sure many of you, if you've done any kind of search online, have seen so many people trying to sell Thor's hammer. But did you know Thor's actual hammer or hammers, because they have a lot of them in the movies, were 3D printed, not all of them, most of them. And the reason is because sometimes they needed the hammer to be super lightweight because he's moving it around during a, a battle scene and they can't have him you know, carry a super heavy, uh, hammer so they made them lightweight with 3d printing so obviously it makes sense that now people are making them all the time and you can buy them anywhere especially etsy right there so very cool that in the actual movie they they did 3d print some of them and now you can too here's another example i know it's another superhero movie but deadpool they thought the mask was so important, the one that covers his face, they couldn't have it would just be material. And at the same time, they, need, they needed it to be exactly Ryan Reynolds' head. So they had to scan his head and then 3D print the things around it so that um, it would be exactly form-fitting. But at the same time, as you can see in this picture, they designed it so that they can change the parts easily and still retain the shape. So this guy was saying how there was a little switch at the back where they can press a button and the um, eye covers right here, the black ones would like would pop off, but at the same time, they can replace it super quickly while retaining the shape, but change the expression because sometimes uh, the face needed to be super focused and the eyes would be very narrow. Other times you'd be surprised, so they would change it to something like this and have the eyes be really big. So 3D printing is what they used for this to make it 
um, have the right texture and retain its shape. Great, great idea. Here's another movie where <clears throat> they use 3D printing, but this time it was a, a different reason. See, the government actually has night goggles like this. So you can, you know, have night vision. However, when this move when this movie was made, the director uh, wanted to have the actual goggles, but the government wasn't willing to let them borrow it because these things are super expensive. I believe each one of these is $60,000. And in the movies, it, they can get broken. And sometimes you need more than one. So the people that, make, that made the movie thought, you know what, it's probably cheaper and faster to just make our own and we can make as many as we want since you just have to design it once and put it together and it's so much cheaper than having to rent these out for months at a time. Wow, that would be super expensive. So that was the reason it was just cheaper and faster. Notice for a lot of these, I keep saying faster and that's why they call it rapid prototyping. And of course, everyone knows that Iron Man and 3D printing go hand in hand because every time somebody gets a printer, they have, the idea goes through their head that, hmm, maybe I'm going to print myself an Iron Man suit. Well, the people that were making Iron Man actually started off making miniatures of the suit so they can test it quickly and find out where does it work and where doesn't it work? Does the arm twist enough? Does it not? So they made miniatures of the suit out of um, through 3D printing. And once they had it right, where it could move correctly and adjusted it just so that um, it wouldn't fall off in the middle of movement, then they would actually print parts for uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s actual body size. So in testing, they made the prototype out of 3D printing and some of the parts that were actually on him were 3D printed as well. Not all of them, because, you know, some of these things are CGI, if you haven't noticed, and some of them were, you know, made out of other materials. But 3D printing was definitely part of the process and very cool, if you ask me. And finally, <clears throat> movies in the future will, will definitely be creating more things out of 3D printing and you don't know where it's gonna show up. So having a career in uh, the film industry and having knowledge of 3D printing can go hand in hand. Here's another example, these two cars. It would probably be very expensive to break this car, but not the little one. So obviously not a great picture, but you can pass it off as the actual car that's been completely destroyed, but you're only destroying the you know miniature so you're going to save yourself a lot of money anyways that's just one more way you can have a career in 3d printing have a great day